So this is the 5B TV. And I'm just going to have to take these uh, where he broke them. And I will uh, just drill the other ends. So no big deal. So we'll, we'll fix that part. And I'm going to have to do that before I put it up in the air. So no biggie. But um, so I've got a spot where I'm going to put it. I gotta check all this stuff and look and see what's the connection look like. How good is it? You know, they went through the trouble to use all stainless on almost everything, yet they used regular bolts here. I never understood that. That's where he obviously had his ground radials. I forgot about that. Yep, I'm gonna need the ground radials. So this was supposed to be had been up for 15 years and one thing I can tell you by looking at it is I have one that's a couple years old and this spider piece broke on the other one and this one here though these are these aren't made out of stainless either but like everything else is um, the uh, antenna doesn't change very much but um, this one just seems to be a little bit better made. We have like a little small dent in this. This is the uh, 10 meter section. Um, probably. I mean, this is this is your this right here all by itself. That's 10 meters. You probably need the trap to make it work. Um, but, yeah, so, I'm trying to see, I'm looking at where he had it. Actually, if we look, we can tell he had it all the way up to there, so, that's where we will put it, but anyway, um, I don't put it exactly where it was. Unless it was more like that. So, this right here, this piece and that piece is pretty much just your entire 10 meter section. So. And if you want to run a 4B TV, you don't need all these other pieces. Or if you get the um, the 40 meter section here for, uh, I think it's 60 meters. There's another trap that goes in there, and then you won't. It will eliminate all these. I don't like these because these are what break. So without those, uh, your antenna is much more reliable. There's not a lot to these, you know. So, I had opened up the trap on one of them earlier and showed you guys what it looked like. There's just a coil in there, so. I don't even think there's anything else. Maybe there's a capacitor across it. I doubt it, though. I think it's just a coil. And then the coil um, acts like a separation in between each band. And... Um, I know I should understand how that works, but I can't remember. This damn thing rotated on me again. I'm holding this thing correctly. And it is filming in portrait, not landscape. So anyway, um, we're going to get this thing put together. I'm going to put it up where I have the IMAX 2000s. I'm not even using it, so... Um, uh, this should probably work okay on 10, but what it will do is it'll give me 40 meters, and since I don't talk locally on 40, it should be fine. <laughs> 